ladies and gentlemen, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Breakdown and Prediction Volume 30 will begin shortly in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I am your host, Mr. A. This is Ready Ready Talk Boxing. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up. New viewers, become new subscribers. Get me up to 300. Let's talk some boxing. We're talking the WBO vacant super featherweight championship. Lightweight, I'm sorry. Between Raymond Beltran taking on Polis Moses. This fight, folks, has a lot of uh, future building roles behind it. Because we all know Lomachenko is coming up. We all know Mikey Garcia is in here. We know Linares is in here. And this belt. This WBO has Lomachenko's eyes and name on it. That's if Raymond Beltran can win this belt. You know, because top rank fighter, top rank Lomachenko, this is where Bob is aiming for. This is this is it. You know, Raymond's already came out saying Lomachenko is not a god. I'll fight him once I win the title. They're already setting it up. They're setting it up. Big time, folks. Lomachenko's calling out Linares, building up Lomachenko, coming up to 135 for a belt. Coming up for 135 for a belt. Then you got Raymond coming over here. He's going to get a belt 135. Oh, why fight? Why fight Linares? Come fight me. What, you, you don't want to fight me? You, you see them building it up. You see how they're tying the, the words in. They're playing the word game. Hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Get up to get me up to 300. Get the show up to 300. It's not just my. I'm just the host of your show, the Double RT Boxing Show. Ready, ready, talk boxing. Let's break this down. Volume 30, folks. Volume 30. Now Raymond Beltran, he's coming in here. Remember, if you've been keeping up with the show, you know that I'm a big follower, a big pusher for Raymond Beltran. They have nothing but success. Because over here in California, he's battling a green card. He's battling a green card, or well, not just in California, but just in in general. In general, he's battling uh, deportation. So um, for a green card, and he, the only way for him to stay o over here is to show that he's as boxing and doing a serious um, contender in the states. Because they're like, you, you can go box in Mexico, bro. You know, there's boxing, there's boxing all around the world. Why do you need to box in the United States? So Bob Aram is putting him in position to show that he's a contender in the state's game. So this fight is huge for top-ranked company. It's huge for Ray Raymond Beltran to stay in the states to get more money to get to his family. That's why that's his whole preaching that I, I need to stay in the States because I make more money to give to my family. So this fight is big importance for his de deportation. Now, that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Raymond Beltran for that reason. I want him to, you know, don't get deported. Now, he's 34 and 7 with one draw, 21 knockouts out of his 34 victories. He's been KO'd twice. You know, so even though he is a rough, rugged warrior, he has been stopped twice. Coming in as an orthodox fighter with a 49% knockout ratio. His rounds of experience, 236 to 294. Moses, his former champion, has experience himself. 40 years old, or about to be 40 years old. He's coming in at 39 years old against the 36 years old Beltran. Both 5 and 8. The reach is going to go with Moses, 72 and a half against a 68. Very important in boxing. And Moses has a jab, so that reach is a very important factor in this fight. Moses comes in at 40 and 3 with 25 knockouts himself. So that lets you know these guys have respectable, right in that little below 50 range KO power. So they they can they can pop. Now I said this is for the vacant WBO uh, World Lightweight title, and defensively is what I believe is going to be the key factor in this fight. 
Now, how do they have the legs? Beltron is a comfort fighter. He's gonna walk you around. He doesn't doesn't do much cutting off. He just walks you down, gets stays in front of you, and tries to pressure you, bully you, and just wear you out. You know, he hits you some hard hits. While I'm giving the legs to the old man. <laughs> That's funny. The old man. They're 39 and 36 years old. It's funny to say that it's an old man, but in boxing, we know what I mean. So Moses. I give him because in, in his most recent fights, he's still he's in and out on his legs. He's he's bouncing. His, his legs look sharp. He's going. He's moving around the ring well. I give him the better legs. I think he. I think his legs give him that snap in his jab. I'm giving the legs and I'm giving the defense to Moses as well. I think he's a little slipperier. Roll with punches better than Beltron. Beltron's more of a maybe a high guard catch and block on the arms type guy and, and, and counter you. So defensively, outside the basics of you know catching guards, the slippery guy I'm going with Moses. Now offensively, I think the harder the the impact, you know the velocity. I think the harder velocity, the faster velocity. Is with Beltron's punches, but I like the jab, the basic one two fundamental of Moses. And that will, like, even though I, I like the feet work of Moses, I like the defense of Moses, I even like the jab of Moses. The only thing I'm, that's the small thing that is leaning me towards Raymond Beltron in this fight is I just don't know because. Because in his last fight or two fights, Moses was dropped pretty quickly. Came back to win that fight by knockout. But I'm wondering, can he take the pressure and the fighting of Raymond Beltran? That constant pressure. Because in Beltran's last fight, he got dropped. He got up and was able to stop him. So Beltran can be hit easily. Can be floored. Just as both these guys been floored in their last two fights. One time in each of their last two, not each of the last two fights, but they both hit the deck, and and within once within their last two fights, and they both got up to win that fight that they were dropped in. So they both got the heart, they both got the experience, and I'm just going with. I do not believe that even though Moses has all the experience of being a champion. I don't know if he's been fighting the level as on par with Beltron. So I don't know if he's been taking those type of hits. So I, I believe Beltron will make this a, a dirty fight and eventually a wear down Moses. I think he'll get enough rounds to win a split decision. But I believe uh, each fighter is going to hit the deck about once. But I'm, a small advantage. I'm going with a split decision, Raymond Beltran, to set up that Lomachenko Beltran Fiesta. Thumbs up the video. New viewers, become new subscribers. Help me get this show up to 300, and then we can talk about 400 after that. Thank you for your support, ladies and gentlemen. See you on the next one.